And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we have action from Liga Unu coming right up. Stuart, what are you expecting to see? Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. Well, 4-4-2 is a good formation, if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. And the match is underway. Asamoa. Oh, that's a super ball over the top. Offside it is, such a pity for him. Well, he thought he was onside, but I think the assistant got that absolutely right. He's given us away. Chance to do damage. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Bradley Diallo. Well, they keep the ball moving. Useful looking ball. Well, no problems defensively. Got away with it then, despite that poor first touch. Can he put them in front? And it's come off the keeper. And relief as the keeper holds on. Well, he reacts so quickly, doesn't he? That's a great bit of work from him. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. An incisive pass, and clears his lines. Asamoa. And he did well to cut it out. Bad pass. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Not a poor touch and unable to keep it in play. Throw in to come.
CD Bay. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And players waiting in the centre. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. And how about that for a save? Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Arias. Now what can they do from here? Keeper there to connect. They've regained possession. And teammates to play it to. That's the kind of shielding play you expect. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, he thought he might have got away with it, but the referee rightly going back and brandishing card. And the free kick, not far off at all. Well, that was struck so well. I actually think he'll be disappointed he didn't score there. That's how good a player he is. And one minute of stoppage time has been added on. Asamoa. CD Bay. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Well, possibilities in the centre. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, technically offside, but not by a lot. Asamoa. Chance to cross. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, it petered out. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. A 
And a chance to whip it in here. CD Bay. Yafar Arias. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. And the substitution will occur now. Ondan. Still pushing for that goal that would see them fall. In with a chance. Oh, in it goes at long last. Deadlock broken. Will that be the one that gives them the win? Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And take it away. Lato Levlich. I don't think too many players would have the overdrive to get to that one. Goalkeeper's ball. Substitution time it is here. CD Bay Ondan Asamoa Terrell Ondan well, Moving the ball impressively here A Deep delivery Oh but claimed by the goalkeeper Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. On the cusp of the final whistle, and they're making home advantage count, but only just. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a tight game, but I think they've been the better team. They've just had that little bit more quality, certainly in attack, and of course they've been well Well, they could finish here, Stuart. In it goes! But wait a minute, that will not count. Well, that was tight, but he was just offside. It was a good finish, though. And a substitution in the offing. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. And attempting the throw ball. And a goal! There he is at the double. They just can't subdue him.
Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And the finish is clinical. It just makes it look so easy, doesn't it? Well, a second go. And there goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.